POC Network here with another unboxing, this time coming from Ceremonic, a brand we've spoken about many times in the past, and it's been a while since we've gotten to speak about them, and uh, since we came across anything new, at least from the company, but recently uh, we've seen some new things. We also have the Blink 500 Pro X, uh, which, we, which probably is out there already uh, if you want to look for the video or story. But uh, that is a formidable $300 entry level or semi entry level. It's kind of it's pretty good, $300, you know. But it's a, a good mobile small footprint kit uh, for smaller DSLR rigs and and the sort. Uh, but what's exciting is today we get to talk about something a little bit bigger, something a little bit just more powerful uh, in the realm of flagship, and that is the Ceremonic UW Mic 9S Kit 2 UHF mic system, which is a dual channel lav setup and maybe handhelds too coming soon question mark uh but we'll we'll see when that happens or if that happens it all depends on what the company releases and when but uh hopefully there'll be some handheld solutions as well just like the regular uw mic 9 setup uh, which does lav or handheld microphone. But right now, the 9S is limited to just lavalier, and that's what we get to look at today to see what it looks like, what it comes with, and what it sounds like. Again, this is the company's flagship solution, or one of their flagship solutions. It's the UW9, or Mic9, but way better. Uh, this is the modern version of that one. The other one's been out for a number of years now, uh, but this one packs in a much more... Uh, well, just well, modern and attractive feature set that makes it so much better. So I'd say probably the biggest highlight would probably be the fact that there's no more AA batteries in use. These have built-in lithium-ion batteries, uh, which means you have plenty of use out of these, which is really nice. They last longer than your typical alkaline AA batteries. You get pl plenty of use, and they are rechargeable and powerable from USB-C, which is very useful to have. Being able to power it straight off of your rig is just an enormous value, so you don't have to worry about replacing batteries, especially if you have uh, any kind of a V-mount battery rig or setup that's powering everything. Uh, that becomes suddenly very useful, so you don't have just sudden cutouts of audio if your camera guy isn't looking at the battery levels, which happens frequently because some of those AA batteries can go from decently good to dead in no time at all. So definitely this is far superior to the previous w, uh, UW Mic 9 series. So we can't really wait to see or to hear what this sounds like in comparison to what we use here in the studio or what we use out there when we're live mobile. Uh, when we're mobile, we typically use, uh, when comparing it to something like this, we use uh, Sony and uh, sometimes Sure, but Sure can get a little expensive uh, for some of their Axiant solutions for their mobile kits. Uh, but uh, Sennheiser and uh, Sony has a lot of great mobile options out there and Sony just, you know, just kind of takes the cake sometimes in terms of, you know, dual receiver, two transmitters and, you know, sounding good all the time. The Ceremonics were the first mics that came anywhere close to competing with those and which is why we find those in our kits or at least our inventory and sometimes with our camera crews uh, because they just sound good. So our expectations for this, that was very long discussion involving that, but our, our expectations are pretty high for this one. Now, uh, the feature list is all out there. You have uh, mic or line level input that you can switch between, and that's for both the receivers, or excuse me, the transmitters and the receiver, uh, which is interesting. So you have a lot of things happening with these. Uh, so the, 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 the transmitters can be used as a body pack for instruments, microphones, uh, the mics they come with or other microphones. You can plug anything you want. Uh, if you need phantom power, you'd have to add that into the mix, of course, but uh, you can practically plug any 3.5 millimeter microphone or adapter into this. So if it's an XLR mic, adapt it to 3.5 millimeters and plug it into the transmitter and you'll be able to use that. If you want to use an instrument or a soundboard or any other source, a media player, or anything else that you want to send wirelessly, uh, for whatever reason, uh, using this, this transmitter and receiver solution, you'll be able to do that. It just depends on where you plug it in, on either or, you know, mic or line level on the top of the transmitter. And what's interesting about this is that the receiver also has line level or mic level inputs, uh, which that's... That's unique. That's cool. We like it. It's definitely cool. Plus, you have monitor out as well, so you can you have headphone monitoring live, so you can listen to it while you're recording from the camera, uh, which is also very important. Uh, even though your camera should have a headphone monitoring solution, this gives you that option in case it doesn't. It comes with a DK3 lavaliers, uh, which is Ceremonic's DK3s, uh, which they 
market as high quality lavalier microphones. Now, uh, like I said, we, we really love ceremonic stuff. So, you know, high quality, sure, I believe it <laughs> because we use their, their labs all the time, including on some of the other uh, transmitters that aren't even ceremonic because we just like their mics. They sound pretty good. And uh, so there's no doubt that the, the labs that come with this sound good too, or just as good or better. The receiver offers a dual output uh, which is a little bit different for this model. So the you have duals, you, you, your left and right channels are two separate 3.5 millimeter outputs coming from the receiver. Then you, there, it comes with a cable that you know it's converts from dual to a singular 3.5 millimeter adapter for your DSLR. Or if you want to use XLR, it has the option of XLR if you're going to something bigger uh, that has XLR input. Here we have all the adapters and we don't have to worry about that. So we can plug anything we want into our camera, but it does have the option uh, to split that channel into individual channels or use the single cable, depending on whatever device or camera you're plugging this into. It offers a nine step input gain control. So you have plenty of volume options to switch up and down on in case your camera doesn't come with this, or you just want to start your gain structure starting from your input device. Uh, you have nine steps of volume, uh, one through nine, to be able to control how much volume is being sent to the receiver and then off to the camera. And then you can control it again from there or if you have a mixer or anything else uh, or in post edit. And then you have battery life. Now uh, you don't have, unlike some of the mobile kits, you don't have a charging case for these. Uh, you have uh, eight hours and 10 hours. Uh, so the receiver can operate for, or the receiver operates up to eight hours of usage. The transmitters can operate up to 10 10 hours of usage. Uh, all three units come with a 2000 mAh battery built in. So you never have to swap out the battery and everything is USB, again, chargeable, which is important and powerable, which is very important. Again, because you can plug everything in and uh, not have to worry about recharging or replacing batteries or anything like that. You just plug it into, if you already have a power source that's running that offers USB, plug into that and you just have power. Uh, you, you won't run out, you won't die in the middle of your records in case you're not watching your battery life. And that is, again, probably one of the biggest achievements that Ceremonic has done with this one uh, in comparison to its UW Mic 9 series. It's just that those AA solutions out there typically just don't last as long as something like this. So uh, this allows the company to compete with some of the, uh, uh, we won't name brands or series, but some of the m more modern solutions out there in the market. And they have up to a 300 foot range. Uh, and of course that's in perfect condition. So our 330 feet uh, of range, uh, let's say you're outdoors and you have a perfect line of sight of the receiver, uh, bird's eye view, it is straight. There's no uh, impeding objects, you know, like walls or anything like that. You should be able to get up to 330 feet, which also means indoors, you should be doing pretty good as well. Obviously you're not gonna get over 300 feet uh, with walls and structures and other things in your way, but you still should get a pretty good distance that should cover you for almost all scenarios. And then of course it has auto scan. So if you are taking hits on your frequency, you can auto scan for a new frequency using the receiver and then sync the lavalier pack to it using an IR sync option like you find in Sennheiser and Shure and, and all these other brands that are, you know, worth their, their price tag. So you can scan, do an auto scan and look for an open frequency and then sync them together using the IR on, on both the receiver and each transmitter. And uh, you also have OLED screen displays, which you're gonna find on all the Ceremonic stuff. Uh, the OLED uh, screen allows you to see a clear readout of all the settings or, or the menu options that you're scrolling through or any of that. Uh, and it's also pretty good on battery life as well. And then you have a travel case, of course, to put everything into. It's uh, gonna come with a nice travel case and an MSRP, a nice MSRP of only $499, which beats out, you know, just about everybody when it comes to this, uh, when it comes to both what it can do and how good it does it or sounds. Uh, but comparing it to Sony, Sony, you know, you're gonna be spending closer to $1,000 for their, their more entry level uh, dual receiver or well, yeah, dual channel receiver and two transmitters. So, you know, this is about give or take about half the price, uh, maybe even less than that, uh, because you're probably gonna go over $1,000 for sure with the Sony solution. And then, you know, if you go with Axion or anything like that, it just gets ridiculous in terms of price point. So for $500, you're getting a very powerful kit with the UW Mic 9S. 
So what we're going to do now, after that very long description of everything, <laughs> is we're going to open up the, the box. We're going to see what it looks like, and then we're going to give you a comparison contrast compared to uh, what, we, what we're listening to now. We have, what, it's one of the mics we typically use here in the, mic, uh, the studio, but we're also going to compare it to the Blink 500 Pro X, as well as the UW mics, uh, mics to see what, you know, how it compares to those as well. But first, let's see what they look like. So, everything is packed away in this neat box. Uh, this is a really good presentation uh, to make sure that the box doesn't get scratched, given the box is in the box, but just in case. And that looks like that's all that's in the, the box, is just the case and everything in the case. So, that shows that the case that it comes with is big enough to store everything. So that case, uh, when I said it was a nice case, I wasn't kidding. I mean, this literally is like a Pelican case. It's not as nice as, as a Pelican case, is the case, but I mean, Pelican cases are incredibly expensive. So this is more of an affordable case, but offering similar value. Plus you have the air pressure or auto pressure uh, valve case you take this on a plane or anything else where your air pressure is changing. That'll help prevent any damage or any issues with the items in the box. So. Opening it up, again, very nice case. You have custom cut inserts where everything neatly goes into place. You have some instructional material here. You have a quality certificate. You have a registration card. You have two Ceremonic stickers in case you wanna, well, this already comes with a Ceremonic logo right here uh, in the description of the kit, but in case you have another Pelican case or anything else you wanna slap a sticker on, you have that option. And then you have the UHF wireless microphone, UW Mic 9S, instruction manual which if you've never used any other mics before you're going to probably want to read this it is not intimidating there's only so many pages about half of this i mean as you can see it's pretty thin but only half of this is in english the rest of it is in a different language looks like chinese maybe um, so you don't have to worry about being overwhelmed by the settings if you've ever used a wireless mic kit or wireless mics at all you are probably going to be familiar with a lot of what this has to offer. Now, you're, what you're really gonna like is not only does it have a good price point and really high quality uh, transmitters and receiver, but it comes with everything. I mean, they literally include everything. You got two compartments here, plus the three slots for these. Those compartments contain so much and everything's neatly packed away in these bags. Now, uh, of course, some of this is just because some of it needs to be assembled still. For example, you have these three clips here that still need to hook onto the backs. I'm just gonna go ahead and take them all out. So this is going to be a clip that goes onto the unit that is going to be the receiver. There we go. All the antennas come pre-attached. You don't have to worry about screwing those on in the kit since they had plenty of space to put this in here with the microphones. They are simply just on there. And then when you store them, you just want to send them straight and uh, that's it. Uh, this uh, is going to be your solution for having a cold shoe mount and that adapts on here by adding on the clip, uh, one of these clips. Uh, so uh, this is similar to some of their other stuff. Uh, it just kind of goes into place, clip goes onto the back of the receiver and now you have a cold shoe mount. So you can hook it to the top of your camera. If you do not include this and you're just using the clip, then it can just clip to the pants of your camera guy or clip onto something else that you have that's clippable. But in most cases, when you're using this on a camera setup, you're gonna use this setup here so that you have the cold shoe mount and you can just hook it to your rig. And then you just set the antennas accordingly and you're ready to go. So uh, the antennas are definitely different. I'm gonna go ahead and bring out um, the, and I was like, I should have just brought this out to begin with. When I say it's like their other, some of the other products, you can see the exact same setup on the UW9 here. And uh, the antennas on the UW, or excuse me, the uh, UW Mic 9, uh, these are just soft antennas. They do not swivel or fold up like these do. Uh, so this is much nicer. It's much more comparable to some of the, the high-end professional gear that, uh, that we use. Looking at additional accessories here, we have one lavalier here, and here's the other one. And as for the accessories, you have, now these, I have to point out that these are definitely nicer looking than Ceremonic's microphones or labs that came with their, their UW9, our uh, UW Mic 9 series. So it definitely looks nice. And uh, it has a rubberized ring here to help get a nice tight fit around the microphones with. And once you put that on there, it is definitely on there. That, that foam filter is not going anywhere. 
and uh, yeah, that's a really nice snug fit and, and really nice foam filter and nice microphones. And of course, if you don't want to use a foam filter, if you're recording outside, they do have these really nice, uh, which is I actually find these very interesting. Uh, these are uh, um, fur windscreens for higher wind scenarios. And instead of just kind of tightly forming over the microphone like that, uh, it actually has a button system that just snaps into place. So to, to remove them, you just pull on this little strap, it unbuttons and it just pops right off the microphone. It's really neat. Uh, so they really put a lot of attention to detail with this kit. And of course you have your two clips here for the microphone. Uh, well, actually, no, I take that back. The two clips are on the microphones already. This is a backup or a spare clip. And then you have a cable organizer or just a piece of Velcro here uh, to help organize cables around your camera. Here we have one of your cables. Uh, this is a 3.5 millimeter TRS to 3.5 millimeter TRS connection. One of these is gonna go into the receiver and the other end is going to uh, go into the your, your input on your camera or device that you're recording from. And, and actually, since this is a dual output, let me just correct myself here. This is gonna be mostly a line level input right here. This is actually gonna be what you're gonna be using going to your DSLR because of the fact that you have dual out, which just completely skipped my mind for a moment there. So you have, since you have dual out, you can control a separate direction. So let's say you have your record decks and you want one mic going to one record deck and one mic going to the other. You can use that, or you can use this, which goes into a single 3.5 millimeter connection, DSLR or anything else, but just a typical TRS connection. But again, you probably won't be using that. You're probably using a more professional rig than that. And in which case you have these. And this is if you're going to a record deck or you're going into a camera system, Sony, Panasonic, anything full-size camera that has XLR inputs, then you have this. Now each one plugs separately into the top here and then goes into the XLR of your camera or your record decks if you have different decks recording each channel. Uh, if you are going, uh, it, again, you have stereo mono features on this. So if you have the receiver set up for stereo, uh, one mic's coming in through the left, the other mic will be coming in through the right. You know, So if you did that, two separate record solutions, each one would be getting a different microphone. If, you just, if you're running in mono, which means both microphones are in both channels, if you did that, that would just be going to records and like your backup records. The singular 3.5 to 3.5 here again would be used for anything else. Like let's say you're using a mic input or a mic or line level input here on the side. Uh, you can use this for that instead for an input going into it directly into the receiver. So it's just the company giving you as many cables as possible, which is absolutely fantastic. Again, a lot of options here. <laughs> and moving on, uh, we have three of these cables here. And this is your USB to USB-C, you have some gold plated cables. Uh, this is for charging or powering. So what, again, one of the most useful features that Ceremonic did with this series is that you can power it from USB. Uh, so you, it has a built in, again, 2000 mAh battery uh, that can last a long time. The receiver up to eight hours, the transmitters up to 10 hours. But if you need constant power, you don't, or you just don't wanna to have to worry about keeping an eye on your battery life and you have a USB solution at the camera, you can run this cable to that USB solution and just keep it powered on at all times. Now the transmitters, of course, you know, you can technically do that. They do have a USB on there to, for charging and also for keeping them powered, but that kind of takes away from the wireless aspect of everything. So you probably won't be doing that on your transmitters, but in case you decide to, you can, but just this is where you're usually gonna focus on, on having something uh, powered continuously. But you have three of these cables and that's to, so you can charge all three at the same time. Again, there's no charging dock or, you know, it's not a charging case or anything like that. Each one would have to be plug, plugged in individually and plugged into a USB source so that they can charge. And this last bag, it looks like some more lav options here. Yep, so you have a total of four of these foam solutions four of the windscreens, the general foam windscreens, and four clips, including the two that are on them. You literally have tons of stuff going on with this wireless mic kit. I mean, tons of stuff. So you have your two transmitters, your receiver, and almost every cable for every scenario. So let's take a look at what our connectivity looks like. Again, uh, the receiver right here that plugs into your camera. Again, you have the dual outputs here for both channels, left and right, and uh, or A and B. Uh, so if you're in stereo, each one will be separated uh, going down the line. 
uh, if you're in mono, they'll be on both channels at the same time. Uh, to turn each one off, there's actually hard switches on top, which is cool. So if you just need to quickly enable or disable one of the microphones in the receiver to save, save battery life, say you're only gonna use mic A, you can just turn mic B, B off. So it's not even you know, looking on that frequency and wasting battery life. And now it's just a single receiver or single channel receiver. Uh, but if you turn them both on, it becomes a dual channel receiver and, and it'll pick up both microphones. On the side here, again, you have a mic or line level input. On the opposite side over here, you have the headphone output. Uh, this is so you can live monitor or preview the audio that's being sent to the receiver from the transmitters using a pair of headphones. Your USB-C ports at the bottom. There's no battery compartment since it's a built-in battery. And you have your status LEDs here. You have RFA and RFB to show you connectivity status of the both microphones, plus your IR and power button here. So that's to show you have power and it'll start going red probably once your battery life starts to diminish. Uh, the IR, that's what you're gonna be pointing at the transmitter. When you wanna sync, you just set it to sync, hold it uh, in front of the the transmitter and the transmitter will pick up the frequency that you change that channel to. Then you have four buttons on the front. This is very similar to, if I pull this out, very similar to the Ceremonics UW Mic 9 kit, only the buttons are two on each side here. Uh, here, now they're just in one roll. You have your power button, your set button, and your volume up and down and or options up and down button. And so you press and hold the power button to turn it on. There it is. Now uh, it boots up really fast, faster than the, the UW Mic 9 actually. And then you have your set and your plus minus to get through the, the options. So basically you're just gonna scroll through it. So like output mode is in mono right now, which means they're gonna be combined. If I'm gonna change that, I just press and hold set, change that to stereo, hit set again. Now it's set to stereo. I'm actually gonna set that back for the case of what we're doing today, since we're gonna to want to hear me on both channels once I plug this in. But you have everything in here. You have your input mode, which is in mic in right now. You have low cut off uh, or low cut option, local mic gain, which is at 13 at the moment. Uh, group A settings uh, so, and then group B settings this is where you're gonna change the frequencies, uh, volume for each individual one if you want. The auto scan match with TX, that's gonna be where you sync. And once you get out of A and B, you have backlight mode, delay 30 seconds, that's where the screen just turns off. So if you don't want to see that picked up in the camera or something, although you, you probably have the pack hidden anyway. Uh, language, restore defaults, and the version number of the firmware that's loaded in the receiver. And then you have the transmitter, and uh, the transmitter, uh, we haven't put a, the clips on so that you can hook it to your belt. Uh, there's nothing on the sides. You have your USB-C at the bottom. You have on top a mic and line in. Like I said, it depends on which input you use. That'll determine if it's mic or line level. Uh, mic obviously will be with the mic and line level would be if it's an instrument or anything else, just sending normal line level audio. Again, press and hold the power button, turns on relatively quick. Same buttons across the front, power set, and then plus minus or up down for your menu options. And just to make sure, you can see here, RFB automatically synced, so they are automatically already synced to each other and ready to go. Both transmitters are the same. The receiver is the only thing that's different. So we have accessories, we have functionality, buttons, lay uh, button layout and everything else. Now let's give a listen to what it sounds like. So right now, what again, uh, we're just using our, our, our studio mic right now, lavalier setup. And I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to switch directly. I'm actually gonna work my way up. I'm gonna uh, get off of this and I'm gonna use Ceremonic's more affordable one, the Blink 500 here, uh, 500 Pro X, which is one of their latest. It's a $300 mic solution. And uh, we're gonna see what that sounds like in comparison to what I'm using now. So what you're listening to now is the Blink 500 Pro X wireless kit. And this is their, uh, this, this is if you're using just a, a small form factor, comes in a little case uh, and charging case and everything else, it's only $300. This is for getting out there and uh, with a lower budget and or just something more simple than using a full out kit like this. So if you're connecting to a smartphone or a DSLR or anything else, something simple, you can buy into this. If you're recording on a, or you just want better quality, better options, better connectivity to better cameras, you go with something like this. But now you know the, know the difference by, between something that's a Sony or Ceremonic, or excuse me, a Sony or a Sennheiser, like I was using a moment ago, compared to this, which is the 500X, which is more of an entry, somewhat entry level. It's not really entry level. It's entry pro level, I guess, or prosumer level. Uh, now let's switch over to the UW Mic 9, which is the previous generation of this. So now what you're listening to is the UW Mic 9. This is the UHF solution that's been out for a number of years now from Ceremonic, and we absolutely love this. It sounds close to Sony's, 
and uh, and some of the Sennheiser solutions out there as well. Uh, but I, I just I once again I find this to be closest to Sony than anything else. Uh, it sounds terrific, sounds fantastic, and we've absolutely loved these. So this is the newer generation of this, which is just the 9. So now, let's switch over to the UW Mic 9S. So this is what it sounds like. This is the UW Mic 9S microphone. It is definitely lighter, way lighter than the UW 9. Uh, so the 9S is both, it, it's, it's lighter, it's also, let me just grab one of these grab the receiver or the transmitter. It's about the same exact thickness. It's literally is, a, it's exact same size, same thickness. Uh, it's just lighter. It, it feels like about, I almost say, close to half the weight of the UW9 or Mic9. So the 9S is, it's absolutely lighter and it feels great, looks great. Uh, it's just as durable looking, everything's metal uh, and it sounds good. I mean, this is what it sounds like, and it sounds absolutely fantastic. Again, no surprise, coming from Ceramonic. So this is the UW Mic 9S, and uh, this is exactly something that you're going to want if you don't want to pay the prices on something like Sony. It, that's going to cost over $1,000 for a dual kit like this. This is only $500, and it comes with everything you need. And it sounds good. It's crisp. It's clear. It sounds good. Their microphone, the lav microphone is absolutely fantastic. And that battery life and the ability to or at least the, for the receiver to power this off a of USB is fantastic. Uh, so it, this kit is just filled with features, everything that the UW Mic 9 had to offer and then some, lots some. <laughs> it's, uh, it's just, there's a lot going on here, but that lithium ion battery and the USB power is a big one. Um, it's a, it just, the, the interface is almost identical in terms of switching between all the, the settings of the microphones between mono stereo frequencies, everything else, the IR sync, everything is almost identical. Just more features, more powerful features that are there or have already been there. Battery life, it's just, I love it, $500, this is it. Now, uh, if you're looking to stay within an affordable range, buy this kit. Uh, for $500, you're not going to get much better than this. And and we have, uh, I mean, we have gone through so many different brands and, and models over the years from various different companies trying to compete with the affordable level of like two to $500 range. And it just, nobody really comes as close as Ceramonic. They nail it almost every time. Now, Rode, Rode does a very good job. That's, a, that's one that kind of fits within the affordable range. But even Rode doesn't offer anything that comes close to this in terms of quality and features. So this even blows Rode out of the water. So I'd say this is, I wouldn't call it a Sony killer, but it's definitely something that Sony should sweat over when it comes to competition. And I'm just gonna keep saying Sony because that's the closest this compares to because a lot of the other options out there aren't dual channel uh, in terms of the, the professional lines that are available to us. Now, only so many options are out there for dual channel in one receiver, uh, and Sony's one of those. Now, don't get me wrong, Sony makes an amazing microphone, and if you have the money, absolutely get the Sony. But if you don't have the money and you simply just don't want to spend the money because you don't have to, get the Ceramonics. So there, there you go. Again, Ceramonic UW Mic 9S Kit 2 UHF wireless mic system that's dual channel and lavaliers. Now, at the moment, there is, there's no handheld solution to go with this. That is the only difference between that and, again, the, the UW Mic 9. This one has wireless handhelds that work with the receiver instead of using the laps, which is incredibly powerful, incredibly useful, and something that the 9S does not offer at this time. But thankfully, <laughs> Ceramonic, I believe, is working on that, so once again, no surprise, because that company is just killing it. So once they come out with wireless handhelds, hopefully we'll get our hands on some of those and see what those sound like as well and how they compare to the UW9 or Mic9 versions, and that will offer eventually a all-inclusive complete kit for all possible scenarios. So there you have it. We'll probably have a whole story about this later on at plcnetwork.net as well, so keep an eye out for that. And if you liked what you've seen here, don't forget to subscribe and follow us, and of course, like the video to let us know you liked it. And, uh, and just check out some of the other content that we have, and of course, use the comment section and let us know what you think. What does this sound like to you? Does this seem like a microphone that you could see yourself using? Does it sound better or worse than some of the other options out there? Whatever you wanna chat about, if you have questions or anything else for us, for others, or even for the company in case they're watching this as well, definitely make use of the comment section. And as always, we thank you for watching.
and we'll catch you next time. If you want to stay on top of all the latest and greatest and or at least the gadgets we cover, remember to subscribe right here. Subscription button. Click it. You're going to want to. There's lots of videos, interviews, previews, all sorts of stuff. Button. Click it.